Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to Leaks Code. In today's video, we're gonna be creating our new event handler, which in my opinion is one of the best out there. Now, you might remember if you've been following along this series that we already created one in a previous episode and notice it being deleted. Well, it's because I didn't like how it turned out. So here we are making an even better one. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna be starting off where we left at episode one, and this is what your index.js uh, should be looking like. Uh, so now we're gonna be adding and removing some stuff. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna require a little bit more of uh, the discord.js package. Uh, so what we're gonna be requiring is gateway uh, intent bits, uh, and we're gonna require partials for incomplete events and we're also gonna require collection because we're gonna be making an event collection and we'll go on more detail about that later in this video uh, now that we have required these three additional uh, properties we're gonna be opening or we're gonna be opening a const object and we're gonna equal it uh, the first one we're gonna equal it to gateway intents so we can get the properties of gateway intents without typing getaway intents dot whatever guides uh, guild bands or whatever all right so once we have done that we're gonna grab a couple of intents that uh, we will be utilizing in some of the close uh, episodes so we're gonna require guilds we're gonna require guild members also guild messages um just like this and we're gonna be doing the same thing with the partials we're gonna open up a const equals to partials uh, and here we're gonna be requiring user message guild member and thread member all right let's see uh real quick all right so now that is done we're gonna go ahead to our uh, uh, options inside of our client object and we're gonna be changing these uh, guilds from uh, from a string type to basically um the the intent bits that we required in here so in here we're gonna type guilds sorry guilds uh guild member members be careful guild members not guild member from the partial so guild members comma guild messages just like this and now we're gonna uh, add a comma after the uh, array and in here we're gonna uh, basically type partials and let's make a new line uh, let's do this actually so intents and partials all right and in here we're gonna be and by the way if you have prettier already a uh, of already use if you are using prettier this should uh, automatically format the code for you we're gonna be opening a new array here we're gonna type user message guild member and thread member all right once that is done we're basically done with the new updates to our client object now uh, above or under our client.config we're gonna type client.events equals to new collection and make sure that you have required collection from the discord.js package now that is done uh, we'll be moving on to the next step with which is uh, creating our file loader function with which is a new function uh, that we will be utilizing uh, with all of our future handlers like the button handlers and the new updated command handler uh, stuff like that so what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to our terminal and in here we're going to type npm i globe and that will install the globe package with that and i know there has been some talk about using globe or um, the fs uh, or the file um, whatever it's called the F the native file loading package inside of um, uh, uh, vanilla javascript uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making the switch over to globe that will make it a little bit easier for us all right so inside of our uh, uh, boss folder we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call, call that folder functions just like this and inside of that folder we're going to create a file and we're going to call it uh, for example file loader.js and in here we're gonna type const globe equals to require globe which we installed shortly and uh, const 
equals to uh, require util let's see if i type it right util which is a native built-in uh, package inside of javascript so, uh, so you don't have or node.js so you don't have to um, uh, install it so and here we're gonna grab from missify from it from missify just like this and then here we're gonna create a new variable we're gonna type const pro globe equals to from missify sorry and we're gonna pass in the globe all right and now we're gonna create a function we're gonna async the function so we can use await so async function and we're gonna create uh, or we're gonna name this function load uh, or uh, yeah, we're going to name it load files or whatever you want to call it. And then here we're going to provide dir name or directory name. We're going to open up our uh, curly brackets and then we're going to define the files. So const files equals await pro globe. And in here we're going to be using backticks. So let me find my backticks. I got a new keyboard. So it's a little bit, um, a little bit, uh, confused to it so um, process we're gonna type process a uh, process inside of the curly brackets and the dollar sign dot cwd all right and then here we're gonna let's see here uh, and then we're gonna dot replace replace uh, and we're gonna use regex for this so we're gonna do this forward uh, slash then two backslashes and one forward slash g and regex is a little bit too complicated for, for this episode, so we're not going to uh, explain it really. And then we're going to add a comma, and then we're going to uh, replace it with the forward-facing uh, slash. All right, and then we're going to, over here, we're going to add uh, another forward-facing uh, uh, slash, and then add a dollar sign, the curly brackets, and here provide the dir name, uh, and slash star star slash star dot js i'm gonna get a little bit closer on this so you guys uh, copy it as it is so what will uh, this do is we're gonna provide to the function uh, a folder name inside of the parent folder and it's gonna go inside of it and it's gonna load every file in any folder inside of that main folder that we provided the name of and it's gonna grab every file that ends with dot uh, js all right, now we're going to close this and we're going to go down one more line and we're going to type files dot for each because it's going to retain in a return an array of files and we're going to async or in here we don't really need, need to async. So we're going to type file, sorry, file. I'm really new, uh, new to this keyboard, so file. All right, and then we're going to create an error function and then here we're going to delete require dot cache and here we're gonna create an array and in here we're gonna require resolve a uh, file so what this will do this line is gonna be doing it's gonna go inside of that list of files uh, that we loaded from that directory that we provided the name of and it's gonna delete every cached um, version of that file so whenever you use your reload events or your reload command the uh, command commands that we will be creating with the new command handler, uh, it's uh, basically gonna uh, re completely reload a new version of the events or the commands files. So this will fix the issue that happened with our last um, uh, event handler. All right, so we're gonna return false and uh, return files. Sorry. And then we're gonna model.export inside of an object uh, the actual function, so load files. And this is it for the file loader function. So now we're gonna be moving over to uh, creating our event uh, handler. And to do that, go to your uh, parent folder again, create a new folder and call it handlers. And then here you're gonna create a file called event handler.js or you can call it even event uh, loader or events loader. Uh, now we're gonna create a function, so async function, and we're gonna call the function load events, and we're gonna portion the client object that we're gonna be 
parsing in inside of our uh, index.js later on. Now we're going to open up curly brackets and what we're going to be doing is we're going to requiring we're going to be requiring the load files uh, function that we created in here. Uh, so let's do that equals to require and here we'll ser search for our functions folder and file loader. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and download a package called uh, ASCII. So npm i ASCII table. And that's going to be the table that's going to be console logging our um, table of commands or events. Uh, for this case, events. Uh, all right. Inside of here, we're going to type const as a key equals to require. And here we're going to require the ASCII table. And then we're going to create a table. So const table equals to a new instance of ASCII. And then here we're going to set a heading of, uh, let's call it events and then status all right now uh, we're gonna go to our index so let's go to index.js and like as you remember we created this client.events uh, collection so we're gonna go ahead every time we load this event um, because we're gonna have a reload function we're gonna await client.events.clear so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be deleting everything inside of that uh, collection. All right. So now we're going to type const files equals to, sorry, I wrote all of it wrong. So const files equals to uh, await load files while we are waiting because it's going to be taking some time to load all the files. And then here we're going to provide the folder name. So take a look here. I'm passing in the events name. So I'm going to be creating a folder called, oops, a folder called events. So I'm basically telling the load files function to load every file inside of that events folder. Once that is done, files is going to return an array. So we're going to, we can, we can use the for each uh, function. So we're going to type files dot for each and for each file, we're going to create an arrow function with curly brackets and in here we're going to type const event equals to require file so we're going to define the file as an event and then we're going to define execute so const execute um, and then here we're going to uh, basically equal it to dot 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 orgs so we're going to be splitting the orgs basically uh, and then we're going to create an arrow function and here we're going to type event.execute and we're going to execute orgs, then client. Shout out to Spike that Mike for this idea. Uh, and actually, shout out to um, um, Kevin Fogd for the file loader idea. All right, so now let's continue on. Uh, we're going to type client.events.set event.name and then here execute. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to go to the collection, the client.events collection, and we're going to create a new entry with the event name and the execute function. All right. So now we're going to be doing the, uh, the usual shake. So if event.rest, then um, we're going to open up. We're going to be basically doing some nesting in here. It's not really that good, but um, we, we need it in here. So if inside of the if, uh, if, if inside of the if event dot rest uh, curly brackets we can type if event dot once and then we're gonna client sorry we can make it one line client dot execute and then here we're gonna execute oh sorry sorry client dot rest dot on and here we're gonna type event dot name and then the execute function and uh, here we're gonna type else client.rest.on and here we're going to provide the event.name and the execute function all right and in here we're going to type else we're going to open up another curly brackets uh, so we're going to type if event once so if event dot once then we're going to type client dot once event dot name we're going to Pass in the execute function or else we're gonna type 
client.own event.name we're gonna push the execute function that's a little bit <laughs> it does look more complicated than it is but it's really not um all right so because uh, why we're doing this is because uh, this code uh, uh, version 14 came with the rest uh, events now so they're different from the uh, normal uh, your normal events um so let's check if everything is right so this is not right so if event dot once it should be run at once all right if else is on all right so everything is looking good right now now what we're going to be doing is typing table dot add row and in here we're going to type event name and then we can add an emoji uh, let's see here windows dot we can add this let's add this emoji all right once that is done let's go um inside of that function and let's return console.log and here we're gonna type table to string and then we're gonna type with a new line loaded events all right so um uh, let's go back to our index uh, because we need to execute this uh, load events function so let's go back to the index here and what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna type uh, or actually let's require it here let's make a new line let's make it under a client it needs to be under a client and in here we're gonna type um or actually it doesn't but whatever const load events equals to require and here we're gonna search for uh sorry dot slash uh, not events handlers slash event handler and let's make sure oh we did not um so let's go back to the event handler in here guys and what we need to do is we're gonna model dot exports equals the uh, function name so now we can use it outside of this folder so uh, let's go to the index again and then here it should appear all right once that is done we're gonna go down one more line and then here we're gonna type um load events and we're gonna pass in the client object that's why it needs to be un under the const client um all right so right now uh we're done let's uh, remove uh, or actually let's not remove anything at all now let's type node space dot and uh, let's see await client events uh, clear why is it showing that oh it's so it's showing that because we're trying whenever we load this file and this is an important lesson actually i fall uh, for it for all the time so because we are trying so if you go to our load events function uh, if you check here we're trying to um or actually here client.events.clear we're trying to clear the client.events collection but whenever we're loading this um uh, uh the load uh, or whenever we're calling on the load events function uh the client dot col uh, the client dot events doesn't really exist because it's down here below the load events so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna crop this all right and we're gonna go down un under the client dot events and here we're gonna load events so clear node space dot and uh, loaded events Let's see why there's an S over here. It's because I added it. All right. So it's going to show us an empty table. So let's add a quick event. So let's go to our events and let's create a new folder. Call it client. And inside of that client folder, let's create a ready.js events. So we're going to model export. And we're going to name the event uh, ready. And it's going to be once the client is ready. And then in here we're gonna execute clients, or we don't need to execute anything. What we're gonna do is console.log the client is now ready. All right, let's go to the index and let's remove. Um, actually, let's remove everything here. All right, just like this client.login. All right, and now if we type, let's clear our terminal type node space dot we should see that the ready event has been uh, has been loaded and we see here the client is now ready so basically our event handler is working uh, thank you guys for the uh, for watching this video and i apologize if this caused you any confusion or um, anything 
uh, because we deleted the old one but trust me it's gonna be this one is gonna be uh, a really better one uh, and thank you guys for watching see you in the next episode